Hello everyone, my name is Ammar Harasani, Industrial Engineering student at King Fahd University of Petroleum and Minerals of Bahrain, Saudi Arabia. And today I'm going to discuss with you a step by step how to model with GAMS for, uh, in the following slides. First of all, let's start by what is GAMS? GAMS stands for General Algebraic Modeling System. It is specifically, uh, specifically designed for modeling linear, nonlinear, and mixed integer optimization problems. The system is especially useful with large complex problems. The standard models types used in this tutorial, let's say, the linear programming, the nonlinear programming, mixed integer programming, mixed integer, nonlinear programming, and others, as you can see from here. Uh, we are going to start our modeling with a sample problem. I named it sample problem one. As you can see, it's very simple, uh, an objective function and a set of constraints. Super easy. Okay, let's start. We need to open GAMS. As you can see, go to the top left corner. Uh, in GAMS, first thing that we should do in GAMS to start modeling, to specify the type of a variable. Let's say x1 and x2 and x3. These are my variables. Okay, but what are the types of these variables? As you can see from here, x1 is greater than or equal to 0, and that means it's a positive variable, right? Okay, we write this into GAMS as positive variable and we name it as x1 super easy we end the command by a semicolon simultaneously x2 x2 belongs to the whole number so what we can write it's somehow telling us it's a free variable so it could have a negative it could have it could be zero it could be positive so we are writing this as free variable Whatever you speak, whatever you write, this is GAMS, super easy. So this is x2, is that right? And we entered the command also by a semicolon. For the x3, what do you think? Yeah, of course, it's a negative variable. It's a negative variable, x3. Okay, after we uh, define the types of uh, the variables x1, x2 and x3 we need to find the or, or let's say we need to define the constraints so how GAMS will understand that uh, we have an objective function and a set of constraints subjected to so we write the the set of constraints these constraints what I mean by by the command equations by the, the by the command equations and we go to the first constraint and second constraint and third constraint and we name them I name them myself try to make it easy for you uh, because of the typing mistakes and it, uh, and other things say con 1 it's a constraints 1 okay constraints 2 constraints 3 and of course one important thing that's uh, that is uh, a, a very common uh, mistakes among uh, those who want to uh, model with GAMS they forgot the objective function objective function we should assign somehow a constraints to it so we call it an objective function like this one and if this is our end we end it by a semicolon. Okay. After doing this, after defining the names of the constraints, okay, we have to give them a value. So how GAMS will understand that the first constraint, this one, is x1 plus x2 plus x3. He will not he will never know. So we go down and uh, before that we go and copy this control C and we paste it. Okay. We go in front of the first constraint, which is con1, and we assign, remember this word, assign a 
constraints value. How do we assign a constraints to a set of uh, variables? First constraint, con1, dot, double dot. We, when we write double dot to the, uh, to the uh, in GAMT, that means we are assigning the first constraints to this x1 plus x2 plus x3. How do you, how are we going to uh, to say this? x1 plus x2 plus x3. Okay, another uh, thing to know that GAMS will never understand this one as a less than or equal to 7. Uh, it's not like Excel and other things. So, in GAMS there is a special characteristic for this. We write equal then L then equal. That means less than or equal to 7. Easy. And we end the command by a semicolon. Same thing for the constraints too. We assign it. Go 4. In multiplication we should write this multiplication sign x1 plus 2 times x2 equal to, how do we write equal to? E equal to 40, which is easy. Let's go to the objective, uh, let's go to the third constraints, which is uh, 10 times x1 plus, there is no x2, be careful about this, x3, and guess what? It's g, of course, great, 30. This is it, uh, this is it, so here. We are assigning an objective function, but be careful about the objective function. There is a trick about it. We do, as usual, assign it 30x1 plus 100x2 minus 50 times x3. What did I do? I just did a mistake. What is it? Okay, 30 times x1 plus 100 times x2 and this should be equal to a something we did not specify a uh, thing as usual in our uh, exercises and uh, our homework we assign this objective function to a value called the z is that right so z equals to 30x1 plus 100x2 minus 50x3 so z is a kind of a free variable. It could be a negative, it could be a positive, it could be a zero. So it's a free variable. Is that right? So we have to assign it or we have to equate it, let's say, to a value called z or whatever value you want to assign. But be careful. The value z, it's not specified in the types of the equation. So what we have to do? We have to specify it. Easy. We go to the free variable section and we add another variable z so GAMS will understand that x2 and z is a free variable it could have any problem okay now we are uh, we are halfway uh, done with this uh, model after we define and assign a set of constraints on the objective function what we should do we should tell GAMS, hey GAMS, please model these constraints and objective function by the command model. Easy. Name this work, what you, uh, whatever you, uh, you want. Let, let, let's say as a sample, sample problem one. And after that, we should open uh, a slash and writing all the constraints and the objective function by going there and copy and end the uh, and end the command by a slash and a semicolon. So, what are we telling GAMS here? GAMS, please model this problem that we named it sample problem one or whatever slash set of these constraints set of these constraints con1 con2 con3 and objective function okay now you, you are telling gams hey gams solve this by a solver 
for example, I need to uh, solve it by Cplex, by Baron, by whatsoever. These are the most common uh, solvers used in GAMS. So we are giving options, options, LP, it's a linear programming, equals to Cplex. And we enter command by semicolon. We could write mixed integer programming MIP it will work but uh, we don't need it exactly be, uh, because it's as you can see it's very simple there's no multiplication though no division and etc so we, we solve uh, options LP the linear programming here using simplex and GAMS please solve it solve it yeah we write the command solve whatever we wrote here I prefer to go and copy it this is super easy to avoid mistakes solve sample problem one using LP because it's a linear programming we can we could say using MIP using uh, MINP or whatever uh, to solve it so solve this problem using LP maximizing maximizing Z super easy if it's maximization write maximization if it's minimization simply write minimize minimizing Z okay after that now we are done we are actually done but how are we going to uh, display our uh, results in the uh, in the problem we say display whatever you speak is whatever you write this is super easy in games display x1 dot l I will tell you what l means in a second x2 dot l x3 dot l and z dot l as you see and end the command by a semicolon what does l means L means the latest value as you know GAMS will have so many iterations to give the optimum solution of these constraints and uh, subjected to this uh, uh, for the objective objective function and subjected to these constraints so L is the latest value last value of the iteration for x1 and last value for x2 last value for x3 and last value for the Z as you can see and Booyah, it's finished. Uh, we should compile it. We should sh uh, press Shift and F9. It will tell us that there is no problems uh, about it. We will see about this. There's no problem. There's no appearing problem about it. Let's see here. Yeah, this one status normal completion so there are no errors no uh, mistakes no typing typo or whatsoever okay this is about uh, compiling so we go to run it run it means he will give us the solution the optimal solution press f9 okay normal completion also let's close it go to the this is the uh, your solution and we are concerned about the display as you can see if you did not write display it, it will not show here so go to display we have the values x1 x2 and x3 double click it double click on the z see these are the values that we got this is our values that we need as you can see x1 is this amount x2 is this one as you can see x3 is this one x and z is this value uh, this is pretty much about it if you like the uh, the video please uh, share it among your friends and uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial uh, and see you next time inshallah for another problem and uh, best of luck Thank you so much. This is Ammar Harasani. Uh, goodbye.